welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host, Jennifer. Okay, so as promised, I am going to go over the premier fall-winter catalog for 2021 season. So I got this in a very recent package of yarn that I ordered where I showed you guys some of the new yarns that are on limited release with Premiere, including this beautiful Fez. And for the first time in the two years, almost, I think through almost three years, I've been ordering from Premiere, I've never gotten a catalog. So I'm super excited about this. And I had mentioned in passing in a video that I might go over the catalog with you guys and show you some of the yarns that are featured in here because a lot of them are in my stash. There is one yarn in here that I have in my stash and even though I've been tearing the room apart, I cannot figure out what I did with it. So I may have used it, I may have given it away to give away, I may have donated it. It may be buried somewhere. <laughs> I can't find it. But that's okay because I don't have every single yarn in this catalog and we're just going to do with what we can or what we have. Okay, so we're going to show you the catalog and I'm going to show you the corresponding yarns that are in my stash. There is, of course, background noise. There are people in the house um, and they're watching TV at a very loud rate and speaking at a loud rate because that's just what they do in this house. So if you hear background noise, I apologize on behalf of my family. <laughs> no, I don't. It's life. You guys, this is real life. It's real life. Okay, so, oh, want to shout out to my super cool shirt. I'm only going to show you part of it because there's a bad word on this shirt. You can find this shirt in the link below at my Teespring shop. I love my shirts. I think they're fun. And, um... I like seeing them being worn. <laughs> so, you know, selfless little plug there. All right, let's get into the catalog. On page one, they feature the best yarn that I believe that is in their catalog because it's my favorite. Premier Anti-Pilling Acrylic Everyday Worsted. I have this in lots of colors, but I grabbed the first one that I could find. This color... Uh, is not in the catalog so this may actually be discontinued colorway but it's the first one I could find <laughs> so I'll read out of the catalog what it says it says 100% anti pilling I'm reading the wrong page <laughs> wrong page what color is this parrot yeah the parrot I think is discontinued don't worry they have lots of other colors of this 100 percent anti-pilling acrylic what does anti-pilling acrylic mean i get this question a lot anti-pilling acrylic you ever had like an old crochet blanket and maybe your mom made or you made like 20 30 years ago and when you wash it dry it it gets those little balls on it the little balls that like little kids like to sit and pick off side note <laughs> i know someone who did that and was shoving the balls up their nose when they were little and then had to go have them removed <laughs> this is why we don't want pills in our life. No pills. Get anti-pilling acrylic. It's the best. Okay. <laughs> I know that's a gross, it's a gross story. It is three and a half ounces. It is 180 yards. Um, machine wash, warm, tumble dry, normal. Now if, now this is straight from Premier. This is what they told me because I didn't know it back in the beginning. They told me all about the anti-pilling effects. If by chance from wear and tear, like where your arms rub, if you make a sweater and you get the pills here, throw it in the washer, the pills will fall away. They don't stick. They, they just, they fall away. And this stuff is good for up to 300 washes. And this is all directly from the company. This is information that they have told me directly. So it's coming from the source. Um, like I said, I believe that this colorway is discontinued. This is Parrot because it is not in here. They have lots and lots of solid colors, all of which you could find on the website. And they have a variety of variegated yarns, which the variegated yarns are very pretty. Oreo. Always Oreo. What? Just come in. Just come in. She'll want right back out in a second or Scarlet will follow her. I know. So, 
what is my opinion on the anti-pilling acrylic? I love this yarn. This is my favorite of all of the Premier yarns. It is my go-to. This is the, um, it is so, so super soft. And anyone that uses this will tell you the same. This yarn is soft. It is like your basic everyday acrylic that you want to use. It is, they don't have the prices in here. I believe this is $3.99. I'm going to have to open my laptop. Oh, I'm hitting everything. I have to open my laptop because, you know, <laughs> I need to have the prices. The catalog really should have the prices, but I think what they're trying to do is draw you. My light just went out. My light went out. I fixed it. Okay. <laughs> We're having technical issues here in Cinema Stitches today. Um, they should, they're trying to, they're probably trying to draw you to the website. You, so you go, oh, it's so beautiful. I just have to have it. But Hey, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to tell you what the best ones are. And of course my mouse isn't working. We're sharing everything in the house lately. The little man has decided he's going to take my, my mouse, his dongle. My dongle is currently in his computer but take that back there we go we got it working we got it working Ross and I were having connectivity issues today so internet problems since I don't know what is going on and of course I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna fix the internet and I will be right back with probably more issues it has been 15 minutes we still don't have internet. <laughs> I had to connect my laptop through Mr. Cinnamon's internet on his phone. We're having difficulties in the Cinnamon household. <laughs> okay, I finally got the website up. He has a gunning pen. <laughs> I'm like the naughty school teacher <laughs> disciplining the internet. Okay, so I was correct. Back to this. And I found, because I felt bad, because this is a discontinued colorway, we're going to discontinue that ball yarn altogether. These are, if you recall, if you were around last year, maybe the year, it's been a while. I don't remember when this was released. Um, Premier Yarn let me pick three colors and they had a Try Me Pack, which was totally awesome. This is not available on their website anymore. This is not available anywhere anymore. This is, that was a limited thing. But I got the anti-pilling acrylic in a color that they actually have. So this is the color peach. Yes. Soft peach, coral, some of my favorite colors because they go so well with my skin color. <laughs> I love these colors. And then I also have cream. This is the anti-pilling acrylic. Um, let's see. Let's click it. Let's click it. Um, the solids are more yardage than the um, variegated. So these ones have 203 yards. The catalog, I'm looking at the wrong page, it says 180 yards. So I think it's anywhere between 180 yards and 100 and or 203 yards because the the variegated has 180 yards. The solids have 203. I think it like varies. But yes, this is $3.99. From what I'm looking at, it is available in over 50 colors. Do I recommend this yarn? Yes, I do. I love it. That's why I picked that yarn for the Try Me Pack. <laughs> that is why I have I have it about. Okay, so let's go back. Back, back, back. I'm sorry, you guys, if this is a hot mess. I, I tried. <laughs> I made I made my whole room. There's, like, so much yarn on the floor right there because I was digging through. and My cabinets are open. I was digging through trying to find the yarn. Okay, next, we're moving on to the anti-pilling everyday DK. I featured this yarn in Premier Week last year, and I made a shawl scarf thing out of it. 
Uh, it was, it's absolutely beautiful. It is wonderful to work with. This is along the lines. I mean, it is basically just the everyday, but it's in a, it's a number three instead of a number four. It's a DK weight. It is as soft, as easy to work with, as beautiful to work with. This yarn is fantastic. It is 100% anti-pilling acrylic. Again, it is three and a half ounces. It is a, a 273 yards. And again, this is $3.99 for this. I consider that a good deal. I really love this yarn. Now, if you're going to buy some of the other um, run-of-the-mill basic acrylics you find at like every store, basically, um, you're spending three, four, sometimes five dollars a ball, and it is not as soft as this, and it is not as luscious as this yarn. So <laughs> that's why I reach for the everyday. Ev the everyday line is just my favorite. Everyday DK, the Everyday Worsted, doesn't make no never mind to me. The Everyday DK Stripes is beautiful, which I have some over here. Oh. Except this is limited. This is not in the catalog, though, because it's a limited. But this, again, $3.99. If you wanted to grab some of that while it's available. Let's see, I got, I got a container over there. I'm just going to set it over there until I put it back on my shelf. Because I think... This is coming down. It's getting rearranged again, but I probably lost my mind doing that, especially right now because I got so much on my plate. <laughs> this comes in a ton, a ton of colors. Let's see. Everyday DK. Comes in so many colors. I also have some of those stripey ones. These used to be the Everyday Baby. I don't remember what it was called. And they changed the name over to Everyday DK. And just slid those together with the Everyday brand. Because it was the same yarn. It was just variegated in baby colors. And I actually have all of those. I'm trying to see how many colors it comes in. Everyday DK. This website. The one thing I would like Premiere to change on their website is to have all of the yarns listed on one page. You can't click view all and it will list all of them. You have to go page by page and flip through and flip through. And that's one thing I don't care for because it makes a video very difficult. Especially when we're having connectivity issues. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this yarn. And the thing I really like about the Everyday DK is if you guys see this, it comes in neon. So you got bright orange, bright pink, bright yellow. And can I tell you that is bright hunter orange. I have some over there on the shelf. I'm not pulling down all the colors because that would be just a mess. Let's see. How many colors does this come in? Does it say? Is it going to tell me? Da, da, da. 74 colors. Comes in 74 colors. That is pretty darn cool. You have so many options. You can't ever say they don't have your color in that. Oh, I'll show you the wrong page. Everyday DK. Next up. Everyday Bulky. I do not have. I do not have the Everyday Chunky. At all. I don't know why. I do, however, have the Bloom. <laughs> this is Bloom Chunky. It is 100% acrylic. It is 109 yards. And let's see. Bloom. We'll just search out Bloom. We'll get to it faster. Bloom Chunky. I have a whole bag of it. I'm not going to open the bag because you guys can see through the bag. Everyday Chunky. This is 109 yards. I told you that. 100% acrylic. 100 meters. 100 grams. 3.5 ounces. This is a bulky weight yarn. Number five. Machine wash warm, gentle cycle, tumble, dry, low. I will tell you that do not do not make a hat for a little kid out of this yarn and then give it to them if they have any kind of Velcro on their coat. Because it will stick to the Velcro. And that's true with a lot of yarns, but this is like, it's like a magnet. I don't know why. Um, 
If you've ever worked with the Premier Toy Box yarn, this reminds me very much of the Toy Box yarn, with the exception of the pattern on it. The pattern is kind of cool. Um, it works up. Now that is in crochet. It looks even cooler in knit. It works up to have like a self-striping pattern to where you'll have solid colors and then you will have a row of flowers. It also comes in a DK version of the bloom, which I actually love way more than the chunky. The chunky is fantastic, but I just, this is my favorite. As you guys know, this is one of my favorites. Okay, bloom chunky. This is $4.99 for 109 yards, but it is a bulky weight number five but it doesn't go very far. Um, it comes in 12 different colors. The colors are beautiful. Um, I do have a video where I made a hat out of this. It's somewhere in there. It's somewhere. I don't know if I can find it to put it in the description box, but I did make a hat out of this. <laughs> if you guys ever want to see the stuff that I make, check out my Instagram because I post pictures of just about everything I make. This is a cool yarn, especially if you can catch it on sale. I, I really like working with it. But like I said, I like the Bloom DK. And the Bloom DK is not in the catalog because this is considered a spring a spring um, yarn. This is a lightweight number three. But I'm going to talk about it anyway because I love this stuff. This is $7.99 and is 656 yards. So, you know, same idea. The Bloom actually comes, the Bloom Chunky comes in cuter colors. Like there's a lot more variety in the colors the bloom regular bloom comes more like this where it's just like a solid color or there'll maybe be like two two light two of like colors and then you get the the bloom row where you get the little flowered effects but yeah so that is the bloom chunky see here some of the colors this color i made a set out of this color is absolutely gorgeous but you see how they have all the different, this is what it looks like when it's knit up. The little flowers. Isn't that beautiful? It does look better in knit than crochet in my opinion. However, that does not mean you can't crochet with this. My recommendation, if you're going to crochet with this, you can do the crochet or the Tunisian knit stitch crochet, which is it's easy if you know how to do Tunisian. There are wonderful videos. That's how I learned how to do Tunisian. Or you can do single crochet and you will get that self-patterning look. Or otherwise, this is what it looks like in double crochet. Which I did use the regular bloom and I made a crochet Elena wrap. So that gives you another idea of what it would look like in crochet. Um, next, we have Serenity Chunky Tweeds. I had to go on the hunt for this because I couldn't figure out where it was at in my stash. But here we have it. I finally found it. Serenity Chunky Tweeds. This is 97% acrylic. This is, we need to look it up on the website. Serenity. I'm spelling it wrong today. All right. <laughs> it is three and a half ounces 100 grams 100 yards even of a bulky weight number five although this says 109 yards catalog says 100 yards i don't know <laughs> i don't know it's got that beautiful tweedy effect on it i like this yarn i like working with this when you're like whipping up something quick like if you just want to do a quick quick knit or crochet pattern use a bulky weight number five yarn it'll be done in like an hour well for me it will be this is 3.99 a ball it is definitely soft i don't think any of the yarns i'm showing you today are anything less than super soft <laughs> I, they they premier yarns you guys know that i love premier yarns the reason one of the reasons i love it is their yarn is all soft um, this is not an anti-peeling acrylic. This is just an acrylic, but you know, I like this and this comes in, how many colors does this come in? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 colors. Those are the colors right there. 
I have this white one got like rainbow speckles on it. It's really pretty. And of course I have the gray, which is called stone. Stone with multicolored flex. I did not buy any of the Sophie yarn when it, this is a fairly new yarn. I can't give you my opinion on it. I've never touched it. Creative Grandma has done a video on this. She ordered a bunch of it because she wanted to make a, I think a cardigan out of it. And if I can find Creative Grandma's video on the Sophie yarn, I will of course link her because I, tr I value her opinion, number one. Um, you know, <laughs> and since I have no experience with Sophie and she does, why not send you guys over there, right? Turning the page, we got some puzzle yarn. Puzzle. Big old giant, big old giant skein. Now this is the Serenity Chunky I showed you. <laughs> this is the puzzle yarn. Both are number five yarn. Okay, this was $3.99. Let's look this up. My light went off again. I think my cord is loose. There we go. My cord is loose. Puzzle. Puzzle yarn. This is, ow, 100% acrylic. It comes in a bunch of different colors. This is what it looks like worked up. It is a self-striping yarn. Of course, this is a knit. I crochet. I've made a lot of things with this yarn. I love this yarn. This is $7.99 for 320 yards. <laughs> so, I think this is probably a better deal than the Serenity Chunky. It is a bulky weight number five, machine wash cold, tumble dry. 200 grams. I also have this whole section right here is puzzle yarn. I have like all of the purples and I have some more beautiful colors up there. They come in and the color names, this is kind of cool though. It comes in 22 different colors. This is widely available in big box stores. So if you want to feel this before you buy it, they always have this at my Walmart. I have seen this at my Michaels. I have seen this at like a lot of the big name stores, but definitely Walmart for sure carries this. All the Walmarts I've been to has Premier Puzzle. And $7.99, not a bad deal for a bulky weight number five. But for some reason, bulky weights, they always like, they give you a little tiny bit of yarn for bulky weights. And that's why I like the puzzle because it's a big old honk and skein and you can make something bigger with it. You know, you got a couple balls of these, you can make a blanket, no problem. Yeah, any more information on this? I think the cool, the names are cool because if you have puzzle, this one is called Memory. And then there's one called Hopscotch. All the names have game or puzzle names to them. So we got, let's see, Sudoku, um, Jigsaw, Crossword, Anagram, Riddle, Hangman, Acrostic, Maze, Solitaire, Backgammon, Checkers. All their names are like games or puzzles. So that's something cool about this yarn. Is it soft? It is soft. It is not as soft as the Serenity Chunky, but it is soft. It is, yeah, it's soft. <laughs> it's fluffy, it's squishy, but this is not part of the anti-pilling line, so you may get pills in there, but I've never really had a problem with pills. All right, puzzle. Next is the coffee shop yarn. Here, I forgot to show you. This is what the puzzle yarn looks like worked up. A lot of, I noticed Premiere will show a lot of their um, samples worked up in knit. And I would like to see more of them worked up in crochet. Which is why I'm here guys, because I can do both and I can show you samples of both. Which if I had all the time in the world, I would have samples knit up, knit up and crocheted up of all of these. So those are some of the colorways. And that's what they look like. Then next we're going to move on to the coffee shop. I actually, the coffee shop is a really good deal for what it is. And I bought a whole bunch of it when it first came out. There's like a whole bunch behind there and behind there. Um, I was really, really impressed with this when it first came out. It is not my favorite to work with. Just because it is a lightweight number three. 
and it's got some wooliness to it. I, it's not bad yarn. It's actually really great to work with. The price point is fantastic. It's $3.99 for 284 yards. And $3.99 for a cake is a is a good deal all day long. It comes in beautiful colors. Uh, it's just not my favorite yarn to work with. <laughs> it's probably my least favorite of the cakes. But I think with the cakes, I like to work with like a, a worsted weight yarn. And we'll, we'll get to all that in just a moment. This yarn is 85% acrylic, 15% wool. You cannot feel the wool at all. Like it is really a soft yarn, which is another thing I absolutely loved about this. It is 284 yards for $3.99. Yeah, I think I said that already. Machine wash warm, lay flat to dry. The colors are beautiful. I just, I, I think with the cakes, I just prefer like a thicker yarn. And I think that was just the problem is I was... I think I knit with this and I think I knit a hat and it was beautiful. The hat turned out beautiful, but I was in a hurry and you know, it was taking forever because it was a lightweight number three, which <laughs> I think I need to give this another shot and work something else with it before I truly judge whether I like this or not, because I do have a lot of it. I ordered like all the colors. It comes in 11 colors. I have the coral reef, the grand Canyon. Yeah. I have like all these colors. I don't have sundown or steel. But I think I have all of the other colors. This one is True Blue. True Blue? Yes, True Blue. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful, but, you know. This one's my favorite because it's got the coral in there. And I also really love the Grand Canyon for several reasons. Grand Canyon's a national park. I love the National Park Service. And even though the Grand Canyon terrifies the bejesus out of me. Is a beautiful place and I'm glad I've been there <laughs> and the colors are beautiful and that's what it looks like worked up so coffee shop if you like wool yarns if you like DK weight yarns if you like cake yarns I would recommend this to you because it's a nice yarn to work with it's just you have to like be in the mood to work with something this thin and I was not when I worked with this so don't trust my opinion on this one <laughs> I don't know whether I love it or hate it. I don't know yet. We're, the 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 jury is still out on that one. But three ninety nine. I mean, if it, you want to try something new, Ross has bought from Smell Great Guy. He has bought some yarn. My back is hurting. Um, he has bought some coffee shop. He liked it. I don't think he has worked with it yet. I'm not positive on that, or maybe he has. I know that I made a Ross hat out of that yarn, and I love the hat when it was finished. But I didn't like working with it because it took forever to make the hat. And I was wanting to do other stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. You guys know, I'm going to be honest with you on all, everything. I just, I got no choice. Next, we're going to work on the Sweet Rolls, the Sweet Roll Frosties, and the Sweet Roll Sprinkles. I have all of these cakes in my possession. I love these cakes. These are my favorite cakes of premieres. They are my favorite. I used to really love the candy shop, but they discontinued the candy shop, which bummed me out. But at least they still have the sweet rolls. The candy shop was very similar to the sweet roll, with the exception of it was a marled yarn. So instead of the solid stripes like that, it was marled stripes like that. I have a ton of it in my collection. So luckily, I still have a bunch. All right, let's see. Sweet rolls. Sweet rolls. Sweet rolls. We will start with the regular sweet rolls. Look at that color. Gorgeous. <laughs> that like is so pretty. This is the premier sweet rolls. And most of these were purchased when AC Moore was still around. Because AC Moore would have like three for ten on these all the time. And it was such an amazing deal. I would go in there and buy three every time they were three for ten. Always got an amazing deal. This is 100% acrylic. Super, super soft. Love this yarn. This yarn does not split. It does not do anything it's not supposed to do. It stays where you tell it to. And if you want to frog it, it frogs itself. <laughs> so it is good. It is a worsted weight medium. Number four yarn. Machine wash. Cold tumble dry. It is 245 yards. 
These cakes are amazing. They retail for on Premier's website four dollars and ninety nine cents. But I know that you can get better deals when these run on sale. I'm just saying. Because I used to pay three for nine or three for ten at AC Moore. I really miss AC Moore. AC Moore is no longer. The entire company went bye bye. But I just I got so many good deals when AC Moore was open. Do I recommend this yarn? Heck yeah, I do. Heck yeah, I do. If you get your hands on some sweet rolls, you do it. You do it right now. <laughs> so, um, let's see. This comes in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 different colors. I will show those to you. Beautiful, beautiful colors. I have some of these. I do not have a lot. Because I kind of just picked my favorites and went from there. These colors. The color that I have here in my hand may be discontinued. It says Pixie Pop. And I don't see Pixie Pop on here. So, I may have a discontinued colorway. I'm quite sure that I do. So, these are the colors that they currently have. And then moving on, we're going to go to the Sweet Roll Frosty, which, where did it go? Oh, this is in a bag. <laughs> I have three of these. I ha actually have way more than three of these. I will open this one because I have opened this in the past and I wanted to feel it. The Frosty Yarn, I really believe that the Frosty Yarn was meant to be because it came out at the same time as the mandala ombres i think that is and they are very very similar with the way the colorway is kind of frosted or like not quite like fully dyed but i love this yarn i think this yarn is like so summery and so beautiful and again this is 245 yards this is, comes in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 different colors, all of which, in my opinion, scream summer to me. And these actually came out in the summertime, and this one is called Limeade. And there's also one called, I have the Sugar Plum, the Slushy, reminds me very much of the Mandala Happy. That's why I bought it, the Slushy. So these are the colors that it comes in absolutely just they scream summer and i just love them this yarn looks absolutely beautiful made up in a shawl and again it is so soft it's the same softness it's just the dye weight the dye is see the difference in the way it's dyed i just think that is so so pretty this appeals to every part of my like the way i feel about color <laughs> i just love love the way it looks and then last but not least in the sweet rolls is the sweet roll sprinkles and was it, the frosty is 4.99 and sprinkles also these are all 4.99 they're just different ways that they are dyed so we have the sweet rolls regular the frosty and the sprinkles and what's different about the sprinkles instead of just solid colors they have a sprinkly color solid color solid color sprinkly color so instead of like the frosted, it's a variegated section instead of like the, this is like kind of half dyed. This is more like there's a white base with blue and green specks purposely put on the yarn. And it, the, the specks are all the same. It's just the way it's dyed is differently. So here's what, this is the one we have right now, the blueberry. Is that the one we have? Blueberry sprinkles. We got mint sprinkles, apricot sprinkles. I have this. I love this colorway. And I have the violet sprinkles too. And see how it has like a row of the variegated. It's just absolutely beautiful, beautiful yarn. This these are my favorite of all cakes, probably of all time. Alright. Moving on. Next page. You guys bored yet? <laughs> we have DK Colors. DK Colors. Now this is 
to me, honestly, if we're being real, it is the sprinkles, the sweet rolls, but it's a DK version. So they probably should have called it sweet rolls DK. Because <laughs> to me, I think that's what it really is. Um, let's see, DK colors. How much is the DK colors retail for? Do we know? DK. I would like to say that I have all this information memorized, but we know that I do not. This color is what some people call Grello because it's got the gray with the yellow mixed together, which is exactly why I bought this with intentions to use it. But I have like two or three of these. Oh, two. There's one. The other one is right there. <laughs> I had the intentions of making something with it and I never got around to it. These also retail for $4.99. So like I said, this probably should have just been named the Sweet Rolls DK, but instead it's DK Colors because, you know, this is $4.99 for 383 yards. This has 245 yards and the cakes are slightly smaller, but obviously more yardage, 100% anti-pilling acrylic. Are these anti-pilling? Did I say? This is acrylic. This is anti-pilling acrylic. There's your difference. So it's not a sweet roll. Anti-pilling, not anti-pilling. I've never had anything that I've made out of this pill. Just saying. <laughs> this yarn is beautiful. It is soft. It is luscious. It comes in 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23, 24 colors. 24 colors, lots of options. Hate that color. <laughs> it's such a boy color. It's not my colors. I love this one. I love the, you know, the girly colors. Now, this next page, I have Bamboo Fair. Can't find it. Don't know where it's at. Can't give you an opinion on it. Comes in lots of colors. I also do not have any of the Cotton Fair, so we can't show you that. And I have Garden Batik. Cannot find it. I cannot find it. I have it in this color for sure. And I think I have it in this color. Can't find it. So, we're not going to talk about that because I can't show it to you. Flip. Premier Home Cotton. 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 I have all the types of this. Premier Home Cotton is your basic kitchen cotton. Is it anything spectacular? No. <laughs> it's cotton. It is very comparable to Lily Sugar and Cream. It is very comparable. And once I, and I've said this in a comment very recently, once I make the washcloths and I use them and I wash them, I cannot tell the difference between the Premier Home Cotton and the Lily Sugar and Cream and some other cottons as well, like the um, Bernat. I don't remember what Bernat's cotton is called. Bernat has cotton. I have a bunch of it down there. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. It, it's all the same. It's just cotton. It's cotton. It's a cotton. This is cotton polyester. So it's 85% cotton, 15% polyester. Between the different types, there is solid. There is the splash, which is what this is. There is um, stripes which I have shown in the past, which I love the stripes, can tell you. Um, they all have different yardage, depending on what type of yarn this is. So I can't give you a 100% yardage. Because this says the solids are 131 yards, uh, the multi is 96 yards, and the cones are 700 yards. But I've had multis from different, I don't know if they're like older or newer, I have gotten all different types of yardage on these. I'm just saying. So this is the pink splash, I think. Flamingo splash. And it kind of stripes itself a little bit to where there'll be like a dark section and then it like fades into the like whiter section when you crochet with it. I have used this for washcloths, for dishcloths, for hand towels, for scrubbies, for face cloths. Um, you can make... Um, basically anything for your kitchen or bathroom out of this yarn. If you hold it double, triple, you can make rugs. Like the, the uses are endless. This is a very sturdy cotton. It washes up to be a lot softer than what it is when you use it. This is my go-to cotton. 
just because I really like Premier. Premier, I love the colors, but this is completely interchangeable with a lot of other home cottons. I'm just going to say that right now. Let's see, home cotton. How much is home cotton? I think home cotton is $1.99 on the website. Um, but you can also find this at Michael's a lot of times. Well, I don't, it hasn't been so much this past year because, you know, Corona and all that stuff. But in the past, I have gotten this on sale and I always only buy this when it's a dollar. Uh, you can get this on Dollar Tree's website. Most of the times this is on Dollar Tree website for a dollar. So DollarTree.com. And it goes on sale at Michael's for 10 for 10. It used to go on sale at um, AC more all the time for 10 for 10 too. So I've never paid more than a dollar for that. And I would tell you don't pay more than a dollar for that. It's not, it's not worth more than a dollar. <laughs> it's, it's just basic cotton. Yeah, it's $1.89 on Premier's website. It comes in a ton of colors. So we got the solids. We have multi. So this is your basic variegated. The splashes, which is what I just showed you. Then it comes in the self-striping, which is here and here and here. <laughs> Self-stripings. So... You want to make fun washcloths? You want to make a lot of washcloths? <laughs> this is um, $12.99 on Premier's website. I have never paid over $8 for this. Um, if you're going to buy a big cone of cotton, the best way to buy this is either use a 40% off coupon. If you can find it at Joann's or Michael's or one of those, use a coupon. Don't pay over $8 for this just saying and this big cone is 700 yards so don't pay over eight dollars for this if you're only gonna pay eight dollars for 100 yards here don't pay over eight dollars for 700 yards but this colorway is beautiful this is water lilies <laughs> i also have one right here that is just like a let me see what color that is it is, it's either, I think it's Jelly Dots. Nope, that's not. That is White Oak. Golden Oak. Golden Oak. So it's different shades of creams. Right here. Jelly Dots is my favorite color because it's like a creamy color with like red dots. On it. I just love the way it looks up. It looks very like old fashioned. It is very beautiful. All right. Moving on. We have... Ever soft. Ever soft. Apparently I moved my camera back too too far. <laughs> I did a review on this. I compared this to Karen Simply Soft. It is very, very comparable in the way it feels and the way it looks to Karen Simply Soft. This is considered a medium number four. It is a little bit thicker than Karen Simply Soft, machine wash, warm, tumble dry. This used to come in little small balls and then they like gave you like a regular size skein. I have some of the smaller ones. This is 270 yards, 100% uh, acrylic, super, super soft yarn. I will try to remember to link the video below where I compared this to Karen Simply Soft. I did that by request of a viewer here. She was very curious and I think I did a very thorough job in explaining this yarn. It comes in lots of colors. It is soft. It is pretty. It is not my favorite, which is why I have not really used this in anything. Um, I use furls hooks. And when you use furls hooks and the slippery yarn with it, it slips a lot. And so, and I'm not a fan of Karen Simply Soft. I'm just not. It is really splitty for me. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. This, I believe in the review, I said is not as splitty as Karen Simply Soft, but I, if I'm going to use yarn, I, I go to like, you know, other yarns. This is not my favorite, but this is a perfectly good yarn. This is, let me give you the price point on it. Ever soft. It comes in 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 36 different colors, 270 yards, 
it is $3.79 for 270 yards. So that's not a bad price. Not a bad price. It's a pretty yarn. If you like working with shiny, slippery yarns, this would be beautiful to make. Um, I know Crystal from Bag O'Day makes a lot of dresses out of Karen Simply Soft. Like a lot of the dresses she made for her daughter, like some of the earlier dresses for her daughter, she made out of Karen Simply Soft. I think this would make beautiful like baby clothes. This would make beautiful little girl outfits. This makes beautiful baby blankets. So like this, I definitely would make baby stuff. This actually would probably be beautiful in shawls too. It's just not my favorite to work with, but it is a beautiful yarn and I don't want to turn you off from using it because it's not my favorite. If you like shiny slippery yarns, you're going to love that. Premier Basics. Okay, now let me tell you. This has the Premier Basics and it has the Basics DK, but it does not have the Basics Chunky and I don't know why. So I brought all three so that I could show you. And then I think that's the last I have of this catalog because I don't have the last yarn in here, which is Parfait Chunky. I have Parfait right here, this gold. Um, it's a chenille yarn. I have made several things out of it and made beautiful, soft, squishy like mittens and stuff. But I don't have the chunky, so I can't show you that. So we're just going to end the video with Premier Basics. I have also done a review on this. I have done a contrast and comparison on this. This yarn came out, and I was super excited because I don't like Super Saver, okay? I know, please, don't tell me in the comments that I'm wrong, that, you know, Super Saver is your favorite. If Super Saver is your favorite, I okay, I'm cool with that. Have your favorites. I'm allowed to have my favorites. We're allowed to have difference in opinions. I'm not telling you I don't like Super Saver to tell you not to buy Super Saver. If you like Super Saver, buy it. If it makes you happy, buy it. But understand, there are also other options for your basic run-of-the-mill acrylic. This, to me, is a far better deal than the Super Saver just because of the price. And I'm going to click on this. Um, before I get, go on... The, D, the Basics DK is $2.19. The Chunky is $2.19. This is $2.99. In case I forget, I'm opening the page for this so that I can show you in case I forget. Okay. $2.99 for 359 yards. This is like a... This is the Eversoft. This is the Basics. You can see that it is a much bigger skein. This is a, a fantastic deal for what you're getting. Um, and when I first saw this, my, my, my first instinct was I thought this was going to be comparable to Super Saver because Super Saver to me is scratchy. Even the newer stuff, which I admit is a lot softer than what it was a couple years ago. Um, and I have some really scratchy Super Saver on my shelf that I refuse to touch because it feels gross. <laughs> but comparing the basics to the super saver this is softer and plumper and squishier and if you have ever used ac more yarn which i gotta figure out what box it's in if you have ever used a dang light okay oh it's right in here yes i have stuff all the way around me i also did a co contrast in comparison to this with the AC More, More Stitch Studio by Nicole, which is available on Michael's and some of it is available on Premier's website, I believe, right now. Um, these two yarns are almost interchangeable. This is also comparison um, to the new, the new, it's not new, the yarn at Michael's that is like their brand that used to be really bad and is now really soft. I cannot remember the name of it. <laughs> I did a contrast of these and I compared them they're all like they feel all the same softness they are all they work very similarly and for two dollars and 99 cents I'm gonna say this is probably your best deal the AC more yarn at that same the stitch studio the same size is more money the Michaels yarn is very comparable and is very close to the same price so those are the two I'm gonna recommend this is Worsted weight. It is 100% acrylic. Machine wash warm. Tumble dry normal. It comes in 48 different colors. All solids. 
so they, they don't have variegated of this but i'm telling you if you are on a budget and you don't really like super saver i'm telling you to go with the premier basics um even if you like if you like super saver 2.99 for this it's a good deal I will link this video below where I compare the Premier Basics to the Super Saver and the AC More Yarn, I think, and the, I definitely use the Michaels Yarn. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it. Um, I will link that video below as well as the Eversoft comparison video so that you guys can get a better feel of my opinion on this. I just think this is a good yarn. And um, if I'm going to buy myself... A basic yarn like if I needed to make blankets for someone for donation for example or I needed a lot of yarn and I didn't have a lot of money I'm going for the premier basics all day every day and the awesome thing is they also have this yarn in DK weight and chunky like I said these were what two dollars and 19 cents is that what I said let's go back see these are the colors of the premier basics those are all the colors. It comes in a lot of colors. A lot. And then this is the DK. Which I found really strange that they did not have the Chunky in this catalog. Since it's winter. But they had the DK. So. I don't know. Especially because that looks like that would be made out of Chunky. Because it's so thick and Chunky. I don't know. But anyway. The Premier Basics DK at two dollars and 19 cents has 306 yards you're asking me and i've had people ask me recently how does this compare to the premier everyday dk which where did i put it it's on the floor and my light is flickering yeah that plug's not pushed in all the way <laughs> so you're gonna compare the two there's your side-by-side -side comparison. This is the DK Everyday. This is the Basics DK. You can see that this is more fuzzy. This is going to be slightly harder to frog. And this is going to get the little fuzzies on it when you wash it. Other than that, they both work up beautifully. And I have made a project where these have both been in the same project. The Rainbow Iker Cowl and Hat Set, if you remember seeing that. The Yellow Stripe was the basics the rest of the hat was the anti-pilling and you cannot tell the difference if you're looking at the hat if you're looking at the cowl set you cannot tell the difference between these in the finished knitted project i mean yes this is more shiny but when you you couldn't tell the difference it just it blended in they are completely interchangeable but this is anti-pilling this is not going to fuzz up as easily as this will it's the only difference it's they're both this is slightly softer but i think it's because of the fuzziness on this is sticking to the dryness in my hands <laughs> but they're both really soft they both work up beautifully they're both very good quality yarn and then we have the premier chunky i have not worked with this i have just purchased it so i cannot give you opinion on how it works up but there's your close-up this is in the color steel it feels soft it's not as soft as the regular basics because it has like a more of a twist on it well maybe not it's just not as soft maybe because it's a chunky yarn and this is two dollars and 19 cents for 117 yards of a number five bulky yarn so we're gonna wrap up the video I pretty much have told you what my favorite yarns are um, like I said, the last, the last is the Premier Chunky. I can't show that to you because I don't have it, never worked it, never touched it. <laughs> they also feature a lot of patterns in this catalog. All of these patterns are available for free on Premier's website. All of them. So if there's something in there you find of interest, pause the screen, go check it out on their website. Premier has a lot of patterns on their website. I have worked up several of them. I have never had a problem understanding or reading or completing the project. They are well written. They are well tested out. They are good patterns and they are 100% free on their website. So that being said, I love this sweater right here. 
I wish it came in my size. I think it's beautiful. I love that there's neon stripes in there. I love this color here of the DK colors. I, oh, yeah. So, and it will tell you in the pattern, like what weight yarn it is and what yarn they use, but you could always interchange the yarns. You do not have to use Premier yarns. You do not have to use the yarn that they suggest as long as it's a, a comparable weight yarn to the pattern. So that has been our review and our flip through of the Premier Winter Catalog, which I've never seen before. I'm going to close my laptop for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this and you weren't too bored. It's been almost an hour of me just showing you yarn in a catalog. But, I mean, this is like yarn porn to the, the nth degree. <laughs> my favorites in the catalog that I have showed you, of course, the Everyday Anti-Pilling Acrylic. It is my favorite. It is my favorite of all yarn for basic product projects for basic colors for colorways. I just think it's a good yarn. I know that when I make something out of the Premier Everyday anti pilling acrylic, I know that it's gonna last. Especially with having a six year old who is so hard on everything, six year old little boy, I might add. <laughs> um, I know that if I make him. A hat and glove set out of the anti pilling acrylic. I know that's going to last him more than a couple weeks. I have made him non anti pilling acrylic hat and he had Velcro on his hat or on his coat and his hat kept getting stuck to it. And after about two weeks of this beautiful hat, it was just like so fluffed and fuzzy. It almost looked like it had felted from the Velcro and from him throwing it in his bag and from him just. It hadn't even been washed yet, and it just got so fuzzy. And I'm like, yep, I'm going to stick to the anti pilling acrylic. For him specifically, my daughter, she's very easy on things. Like, she barely wears it because crochet is not cool. Although she seems to like the knitting a lot more. <laughs> Go figure, right? Because it doesn't look homemade. Crochet looks homemade. Knitting can be reproduced with machines a lot of times. And so if, you're, if you've are if you done it really well, it can look like it was bought in a store. And I think that's why she probably likes knitting better. Because she's 15, you know. Gotta love her, but hey, I'm fine. If she wants knit and, and little man wants crochet, I'll do it. It's not a big deal. But my favorite cakes we have determined. I love the DK colors. That's not it. It's any ones from the Sweet Roll line are my favorite cakes from Premiere. So... I hope this has been informative and interesting, and I hope you guys enjoyed this really strange video of me showing you a catalog. But a lot of you seemed excited and you seemed interested, so, you know, hopefully. And of course, check out my other video where it shows new yarns. The yarns that are in this catalog are not even, they're like a little glimpse of what the full catalog of Premier Yarns is. They have so much more. My favorite favorites are not even in the catalog. Like the Nordica and the Bloom regular that I showed you are some of my favorites from Premiere. They were not in the catalog because it's the winter catalog. So hopefully, this would be really cool if they released a summer, spring, summer catalog for 2021. If they do that, maybe we'll do this video again and show lots more yarns because, you know, <laughs> it's yarn. We love yarn. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I will see you in the next one. Oh, Premiere Week is coming up very soon. I have my yarns picked out and the yarns that I have picked out for Premiere Week. I don't think I've showed you any of them. So we're going to have a whole week of just me showing you even more Premiere yarns and showing you patterns that you can use with these Premiere yarns. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And I hope you guys enjoy that. I'm planning it for the last week in January, provided my yarn comes in because some of the yarn I haven't used before. <laughs> <laughs> and I ordered it and hopefully it comes in time so that I can put the, that in, put the videos in by the end of January. If not the last week in January, it will definitely be the first week of February. And I have a new pattern coming out that I'm going to show you guys. I'm getting ready to send that off to testers in the next day or two. We got a lot of really exciting things coming up here on Cinnamon Stitches. And I just, I'm so glad that you're here to join me through all of this fun and experimentation and yarn porn. See you in the next one.